Good evening and welcome to the Man Cave. It's good to be here. Before you make a jean to jean joke, this is not jean material, and if it's different color, it's fine. I didn't want to bring it up, but you are, in fact, wearing a denim tracksuit. Like, when I saw you, I was about to say, so when did you get out of jail this morning? Wow. Because literally, you've got that. That's a prisoner's outfit. No, I've man, seen it's prisoners. a different material to I've, normal jeans. I've seen prisoners on the side of the road. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. You want to sing a struggle song? What do we... No, what happened to your knees? There were so many rumors, eh? Some people said old age home. A few people said midlife crisis. He's been doing lots of sit-ups and buying expensive things. Um, and then other said he's just uh, become a professional full-time Instagram model. Well, I'm looking forward to today's show. On today's show, we have the incredible producer, musician, presenter, Proverb. Mm -hmm. We've got Strong by Zuma with yep. my friend, uh, Lucas. He's quite amazing. What a show it's going to be. And Inez gets a suit from Frank Bespoke. Yeah, he does. Um, and it's, a, it's an old man suit. Let's have a look. Jason, thank you for the awesome introduction. And I must say, I've heard about the Man Cave. It's an absolutely brilliant show, and thank you for having me on it. Grant, it this, is. Is, this is Frank Bespoke. And you are the greatest tailor in South Africa, I believe. Well, <laughs> I like to think so, I hope so. We're a suit business, we make handmade suits. Um, we're probably one of the only guys in the country that make suits from inception straight through to the end product. Uh, Frank Bespoke uh, is not named, obviously, after me, as my name is Grant. Uh, I named it after Frank Sinatra. But, I mean, it feels like the ultimate gentleman's club in here. Well, quite right. Um, so, all of the stores actually are gentlemen's clubs. Um, all the stores have bars in them, cigar humidors, um, and we're not, we don't just sell suits, we actually sell a lifestyle. And I've noticed you've also got a man crush on, on the great Conor McGregor, and obviously he's a big fashion icon. Yes, with us being a gentleman's club, we're all about boy stuff, so uh, we love boxing and EFC, and, and, uh, and obviously we love Conor McGregor, especially the way he dresses. Grant, when it comes to your different cuts, what, what styles are in fashion at the moment? Still current now would be, would obviously be a, a jacket like this. We are very into to the sort of Prince of Wales checks. Um, this is actually called a window pane check with a slightly narrower lapel. So what style am I going for? I'm thinking this really nice sort of textured army green color. Before we sort of move into the style, let's do like a cheeky lining on the inside. So have a look at that. Boom. Sorted. Next. Measurements. So from the beginning, the client comes in, we then make a pattern for him. We take all of his measurements, it then gets drawn onto, um, onto brown card, which we then cut out, and that is his template, or should I say his pattern, which we keep on record for the, for, forever. So whenever he comes in, um, we just pull up his, his patterns and we cut from there. So the pattern gets uh, laid onto the fabric, it then gets chalked out, from there we take the patterns off, we shape it, um, it, then, it then gets cut. So after the suit gets cut, the suit then starts to come alive. We start sewing all the pieces together. So the front panel to the side panel to the back panel and so forth. And slowly but surely uh, the suit then sort of gets half made. The fusing gets hand basted onto, onto the fabrics, uh, sort of like a hand stitch to sort of hold everything together. The suit sort of gets 40 to 45 percent made. The client would then come in for his first fitting, where we then pin it, we chalk it, we get it exactly to the way he wants it to fit. Okay, so after Eunice's is fitting, um, it, uh, it then had to go back to the factory, and then we had to do all the nips and tucks and alterations. Eunice has lost a, a little bit of weight. Um, he's, he's trying to get his, um, his bikini body ready. Um, the waist was a touch big, so he has lost some weight. Um, we took the waist in, but I was just speaking to Rashid that we also need to lose a little bit on the seat because he's actually lost his bum as well. Um, he's looking like a teenage girl, but anyway. So we've taken in, uh, in the waist as well as the seat. Um, and we're now doing all the final little, little touches, the hemming and so forth. Um, it's actually quite a nice style that we've done in his trousers. We've gone for an adjustable waistband. We then do all the nips and tucks. We insert the sleeve, put all the sh uh, shoulder pads in, the shoulder roll. We then, um, we then put the buttons together. We choose um, the cottons, the stitches, all, you know, we sew all the buttons on. From there, we then do one quality control to make sure that everything's where it should be, sleeves are, in, are incorrectly, um, workmanship is up to our standard. It then goes into the press plant, uh, where we do all the, all the final touches, i.e. getting the shoulder shape right, getting the curve on the sleeve correct. Then gets quality checked again. From there, it then get dispatched to the store, and then the client is ready to collect his beautiful Frank Bespoke suit. 
I don't know, bro. I feel like I'm more of a man now. <laughs> I've gone from a six to an eight. <laughs> I think you're more like a 12. The accessories all work beautifully together. I don't know if you've also noticed we've actually put brown buttonholes as well. It's beautifully hand-done buttonholes, which actually nice. pick up on the whole brown vibe. Look at that inside. Flash, flash, bling, bling. Don't worry about the thing. <laughs> uh, rules and things to know. There's a, 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 an old Italian word called sprezzatura, which means perfection in imperfection. So you can't be too well put together. So there's certain things. So for example, on the suit, we've got the surgeon's cuff. You never tie all the buttons. You'd always just have one loosened. Now that is, if anybody knows what they're looking for, they'll know that that's a bespoke suit. What the Italian guys do is they also don't give her a damn bit. You'll just, you can always just give it a little, a little bit of a fold when you're sitting at lunch. Yeah. You know, just a, a little bit of flavor. Just a bit more nonchalant about it. Yes, okay, and then, yeah, these glasses you have to, I mean, the brown's fantastic. Yeah. And then you just pop them into the pocket like that. Boop, with your knitted pocket square, Bob's your uncle. Wow, look at this. I don't know, after, after what is it, six seasons of a man cave, you finally turned me into a gentleman. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> now, if I was going through a midlife crisis, I'd take, I'd take the bike and get out of here. No, but, but I'm stable. I'm solid. <laughs> I just feel like a million dollars. I feel underdressed now. You look underdressed now. Please, Jean to Jean, can we make a rule? Can we make the rule? Okay, fine. Because you know what's gonna happen next? You're gonna be dancing with Lucas from Strong by Zumba. And I know all of that Zumba Zumba stuff. That's all this exercise this guy's just dancing, my friend. They play music, then you think you're doing it, next thing perspiration, next thing six pack. That's how thinness starts. Jason, um, what type of dancing doesn't need any fitness? Mine. After the break, Strong by Zumba. This is a very proud moment for me. I've known this guy for many years, and I was there at the very beginning of the development of this incredible workout, Strong by Zumba. Welcome, brother Lucas. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Actually, introduce the ladies. Yeah, definitely. These are the guys, these are the instructors. This is Maggie mm -hmm. and Sonia. Hey, Maggie and Sonia. Hey. Please tell us how this began. This all started by, you know, the love for music. They started to get musical producers, top names like Steve Aoki, Timberland, to basically produce for this specific workout. So what if you can't dance and you've got no rhythm? How does it work for them? So one of the beautiful things about this workout is that it's not a dance, right? We've got Zumba, which is your dance, but this is totally different. This is something for the mainstream guys and ladies that actually want to build and tone muscles without having to worry about weight. So whether you have rhythm or no rhythm, this is your workout. Hey! Yeah, now nah, stay on the same thing. Fine. Hey! One, two, three. Good. Now, nah, let me double tap. Let's go. How you feeling, good? Child's play! <laughs> Run. Play ball. Run. Play ball. Run. Tap. And up. Good. Tap. And up. Really pump. Nazo, 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 Nazo. Altitude. I'm going to that. To the left. Ha! Run. Black Panthers in the house. How you guys doing it again? I got too much rhythm for this. What's the booty? What's the booty? Nazo, 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 Nazo. Nazo, Nazo, Nazo. Nice. Shuffle. Run. Good stuff. Nazo, Nazo! Stay right there. What's going on? Man? What's going on? What's going on? This is what's going on. Hi! This is a suicide vest. <laughs> totally is a suicide vest. One. Hi! Two. Nazo, 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 Nazo. Way on two feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, down, shoot, out. Good. Ah. Whoa! One, two, four. One, two, four. One, two, four. One, two, four. Yeah. One, two, four. Take the knee into it. Four. Oh, hey! Good, nice, I like it. Hey! Turn the heel up. Beautiful. Hey! Yeah. This is what we call an active recovery. So if anybody's getting tired, so you. I can't even smell tired. I can't even say tired. I'm too fit. Go. We're right to you. Nice. Sato Doya in Stain City. Man K. All the way, we're going to the way. 10K best. While we're walking, child's play. I feel 
like Zuma before he got recalled. <laughs> This is an incredible workout, one of the greatest workouts I've ever had. Excellent. I look forward to it. There's no excuse to be fat. If you can move, you should be here. Strong by Zumba. Totally. See you after the ad break. <laughs> Wakanda! <laughs> On the Man Cave couch today, so excited to introduce one of my mentors. I'm not sure if you know that. Proverb is in the body, my brother. What's going on, family? You all? I am suffering from the goodness, man. Oh, that's, a, that's a good disease to have, isn't it? It's no, it is, and, and I hope. And it's may never, there never be a cure. Yeah, may there never ever be a cure. I hope you're suffering from the same. How are you doing? I am, man. I am. Goodness has been good to me as well. Goodness you know has been I mean, been I'm breaking out me. into like a rash of happiness. Oh, that yeah. Do you know it what doesn't I'm saying? even itch. Oh, it's just pleasurable. I've got that chronic joy. Chronic joy. Yeah, that could that could mean too much. The reason I call you a mentor is because a b being, being on top of your game in terms of whatever your passion is, is possible and achievable. Uh, but B, we must also be conscious of the opportunities along the way, learning and doing things that possibly we never dreamt of doing. Did you ever think that you'd be producing? Let's be honest here. For starters, no. But what I did always know and believe yeah. is that one should always diversify Otherwise, you sort of reach the ceiling, especially in our country. So you always have to empower yourself with, with knowledge, man. Diversify. We live in the info age, brother. You can't info claim to age. not know. Yeah. You can find it out right now. It, literally in the palms of our hands, exactly. we have information. All exactly. Time. Plus, it's an attitude. If you ask, if you question, if, you, if you're curious, you know, you'll certainly find out, you'll explore, you'll get to know, you'll master and then you'll investigate the next thing. You speak as if those things are natural though. You speak as if like, like kids growing up in South Africa know that you can just ask to be taught, ask for the opportunity, you know? Is, is that a it's thing? A, in my opinion, it's a mindset. You know, we all agree and we know that we started off with a little bit of a back foot. Yeah. But now what's the excuse? There is because no information is the key. You know, many blame a lot of things. Yeah. Oh, capital, oh, previous dispensation, oh, life isn't fair. Life is never gonna be fair. The odds aren't even. I, for as long as I don't have that car, brother, yeah. I have to grind. And in order for me to get from here into that seat, I have to diversify. That's why they also call you proverb, because even though you were dispensing knowledge, I feel like you were doing it in a very rhythmical, you know, just so you going, oh, pa. Oh, pa, oh, pa. As long as I don't sure. have pa, pa, pa. I suppose it's, 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 it's nearly second nature that everything is rhythmic, you know what I mean? Is there a rhythm to your life and, and is that rhythm leading you to the rhythm of your success? There is a rhythm to life and that rhythm is to go, 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 go. Never slow down, never stop, give every single day purpose. You ever wake up and you have nothing to do, like there's nothing in your to-do list? Not in that, a long time. Not having, not yeah. having that purpose drives me nuts, you know what I mean? So sometimes you have to add even the smallest thing, even if getting up, go for a jog, fetch the kids from school is all you're doing. Yes. At least you give your day you, and purpose. You've got something exactly. to do. And if you get into that habit of purpose, before you know it, you achieve more than you, you think. When you get into the habit of purpose, boom. I feel like we should just coin phrases on the show. I feel like we should just you know call I mean? it the man, the man cave coin phrase couch. There you go. I was going to say professional verbalism, but that's cool too. Well, <laughs> that's why you are the proverb and I'm just a fat comedian. That's literally, oh, that is literally... You me. said it, not me. <laughs> I want to I wanna chat about your life. I follow you on Instagram and I find it highly motivational because I, I never feel like you're posting stuff to show people what you're doing. Because I think a lot of people live in this false kind of facade. One of the things that I really liked was I saw you posting that you'd, you'd bought a property. But what I loved was the fact that you went online and said, to young South Africans, you've got to be working towards this. You've got to be yeah. buying property. You've got to be investing. It was partly one to support my friend who's, mm -hmm. whose business I want to support, yeah. but two to to motivate others as well. You know, I, I believe success is measured by how many you bring with you. So. Uh, because I was one of those people, I wish to say things that I wish were said to me. Ah. You know what I mean? So I like to say to the next person, it's possible. You know, if I hear that you're living here at Stain City and that's your car, yes. I leave here believing it's possible because I've now seen it with my own eyes. So I try and use the little strides in my own journey to say to others, hey, if I can, you can. That kind of feels like at the same time you also are conscious of in your aspiration to have what you see, you're also celebrating what others have achieved. Absolutely, man. You know, I feed off 
uh, the success of yes. others and I use it to also fuel myself. Yeah. You ever sit back and watch somebody doing something incredible and you think to yourself, is his brain bigger than mine? I mean, his gut may be, but it's is his right brain now. bigger than mine? It's happening to me <laughs> you know in these... Because I'm, like, I'm looking at your head, I'm like, yeah. oh, the size is very like small. <laughs> the prep is very small. Man. That cap will never put sure, in my brain. Sure, like, no, it wouldn't. If, is my head just for show? What's going even. on? But I think, no, man, you are not more predisposed to success than I am. So if you can, why can't I? You guys have a venue, a successful comedy venue, a franchise. You're doing all these crazy things. Why can't I? Look, I wanna, I wanna just make sure that I say the things that were that I wish were said to me, yeah. um, and I, and I help people understand that it's possible. And I think that what's left out of most of these things is blood, sweat, and tears. Sure. Because people forget that part. You know, yeah. people forget how many years it took before we saw your face, before sure. we knew your name, before uh, you hosted, then produced, uh, then did all of these yeah. spectacular things. That's true. Blood, sweat, and tears. What's the motivation to to put in the blood, sweat, and tears and have the patience? I was uh, written off a lot as a youngster because I was. I, I wasn't like academic, yeah. you know, I, I didn't have what we were brought up to believe were the building blocks to yeah. be a success of your life. You know what I mean? We also grew up in a time where doctor, accountant, lawyer, engineer, so if sure. you weren't academically good, yeah. you were not good. You know, my dad, bless his heart, yeah. once said to me, he's a doctor, Yeah. Uh, he once said to my brother and I, you know, if one of you were doctors, I would sleep well at night. Now, at the time, he sort of meant it as a light passing comment, yes. but man, did it strike it the heart the, and the no, soul. In. Because I knew I do not have the goods to be a doctor. I don't, I don't have the acumen, the good, I just don't. So, I have now made it a point in my life because, listen, e even though sort of he, he said that, but they never wrote me off. 100%. My grandmother uh, never ever wrote me off. Brother, I could come with a note. She believes. And she'd still have something positive to say. Well, at least your handwriting is neat. Yeah. Or and whatever, you know what I mean? Zero is such a nice shape. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Zero is a... <laughs> yes. So, so once I believed, yeah. I too have, you know, what it takes to get to a particular point. I could go this way and you go this way. Either way, brother, I'm gonna definitely get there. And I want to bring as many as I can along the way too. Oh, I love that. I love that. You've got a different style of greatness to my style of greatness. Mm. We want to live vicariously through other people. Mm. So much so that we want our greatness to be the same as theirs. You see. Instead of finding our, own, our own greatness. 100%. This is becoming a motivational show. I think we, you and I should get together um, mm. once mm. a week and just and just talk. Do a breakaway show. I'm with you. We do a breakaway show. Professional verbalism, I'll I'm, say it again. I'm, I'm, I'm in. Uh, Professional yo, verbalism. Yo, yo SABC. <laughs> Three family <laughs> opportunity on the table. Oh. Can you see? Oh, somebody's got rhymes! We are now gonna play a little game called the most unfair game in the universe ever in the history of the world and the universe. So that already sounds unfair. It is incredibly unfair. Super, super simple. I'm gonna show you an image. I'm gonna ask you a question. You have to answer the question yes or no. Oh, yes or no is that? Yes or no. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so uh, do we call this a predecessor? The amazing mm -hmm. Liesl van der Vestaisen. Yes. The question is... Oh, I thought... You see, I give you the answer already. The Go question on. is... <laughs> yeah? Would you? Um, yes, I would show her lots of yes love. Yes or no? The question again is, would you? I mean, if circumstances were different, I mean, there's too many variables. It's not that simple. <laughs> <laughs> would you... Allow Liesl van der Westerhazen to MC your wedding should you decide to get married. Yeah. Yes? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's a good answer. So, Liesl, yes. You're in for I'm the so wedding. Glad that's the question. And uh, we made. Here you are. It's the most unfair game in the world ever. Yeah. Next question, number next. The... Would you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you I would wouldn't. not? No, I would not. Absolutely wouldn't. not? Yep. Okay, well, the, the question is, uh, would you, mm -hmm. uh, if approached by DJ Fresh, yeah. to do a co-production uh, where you and him release an album together and your answer is no? So you like it's Fresh? Too, it's too risky. Fresh, Fresh is it's too risky. I had to go with Even the no. Even got a justification. Because there's, there's too many scary possibilities. That could have gone, that could have gone so wrong. Mm -mm. All I heard is Fresh. Proverbs said no. Doesn't hey, how cool listen, your if you said a plane be, crashed, we were stuck on a mountain, on would I snuggle up next to DJ Fresh? I, I wouldn't. I would snuggle next to you, Fresh, and I would be on an album. But you know, I love you, That's Big Dog, I'm forever, saying. man. We all, all love him. We all love him. Oh, Last, but definitely not least. Mm -hmm. Oh, hell yes. <laughs> yes. I have to ask Yes, you. I would. Please, Alari. Yes. You. 
with a what? Oh, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the question is quite... <sighs> if Lizzo said you were invited mm -hmm. to a themed party, and the theme was eyes wide shut, would you? Yeah. I feel like that's literally where we should end this whole thing. I'm just trying to picture. Okay, I've pictured too much. Pro, good news is you were here. I was here. Thank you for coming to the man cave. Thank you for having love me. Love your energy, love your vibe, love your verb. You're the man, brother. And uh, just keep on keeping on, man. I just feel like everything is out there waiting for you. Uh, for now, though, uh, it is time to get sweaty, my brother, because you have to head off to do the man cave rowing challenge with Sylvain Gacy. Uh, I want to say good luck. Good luck. And I believe in you. In your upper body strength doesn't I make don't, I, don't, I don't believe in me. There's no arm here. I no bicep, tricep. I didn't bring it up. Like, you don't even have a shoulder. I was like, is your arm coming out of your rib? <laughs> like, literally, how is, how is... Good luck. Yeah, this was a lot of fun, man. Thank you. Pick up. Let's see how bad you are here. This is where I'm actually going to thrive, to see you tired, to see you, to see you suffer, because your girlfriend is in South Africa. No, you're going to suffer. Let's go. you got one minute. Go, go. go. Yes! Come on, Proverb. Come on. Oh, you got to go better than that, my friend. Let's go! What? Is that a show in the park? <sighs> Every man watching is jealous of this man. Every man watching is jealous of him because who? His girlfriend, ex Miss Africa. <laughs> Let's show you out on this challenge, yeah? Let's go, faster, faster. Push, use your legs, use your legs. Let's go, push. Harder, 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 harder. Yes. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. If we keep going like this, we're gonna beat you. Yes, 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 yes. Harder, harder, harder. One more, one more. And another one. And another one. And another one! And another one more! Yes! Yeah. Alright. How you feeling, Naz? Feeling good! Feeling pumped. good! Feeling pumped? Yeah! <sighs> Prophet, my brother, you have an amazing life, an amazing lady. Thank you, Very sir. successful. And I love the way you did this road child. So chilled, Thank so relaxed, you, like you are in your career. Steady. Mad That's love for you. Congratulations, everyone here. A beast. Yes. Congratulations, you kicked him. If I can beat at least Scoop, that's no. my only goal in life. Congratulations, brother. That's my only goal in life. Keep succeeding, my friend. Thank you, sir. All the best. Thank you very much to our very incredible guests, Lucas, a proverb, all of them, even Yanez, for joining us once again for the only time ever in the entire season. Yeah, it's good to see you, Yanez. You're still looking thin. I mean, a little bit grayer, a little bit older, a little bit slower, but thin, super thin. You're looking incredibly thin. But the most important thing is next week is our season finale. Uh -huh. I'm not sure if you knew that. I knew that. Did you know that our producers have abandoned us? They have, they've quit. And that means that we are going to give you, the viewer, a chance to produce our show. All you need to do, go to our social media pages and let us know what you'd like to see on the Man Cave finale. The reason why he didn't tell you what our social media handles are is because he doesn't know them. At Man of Cave course I know them. SA, hashtag Man Cave SA, go there and vote. You will be controlling the show. You will be voting like it's 2019 for the national elections. Yeah, that was great. I like that you tied our voting right. into the actual voting. Yeah. But essentially, it's a nice process because you're going to vote and then immediately on the finale, you'll see exactly what you voted for. So go vote. You guys have been amazing. Please enjoy. Hashtag ManCafeSA. Booyah. Salute and away. Also, don't gene to gene. Sec.